besides being one of the most beautiful actresses in the world. Margot Robbie is a powerful woman who has amassed great wealth in her career. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this beauty lives? In this video you will find out everything about the luxurious life of Margot Robbie. Born in 1990 in the rural town of Dalby, Australia, Margot Elise Robbie is a major Hollywood actress. Being a very energetic child, the little girl took classes in theaters and circuses. During her youth, she even had three jobs at the same time, working in a bar, in houses as a cleaner and also as a subway attendant. Robbie officially began her artistic career in the 2008 Australian soap opera Neighbours. But her global fame really came when she acted alongside Leonardo DiCaprio in 2013 in the film The Wolf of Wall Street. Other relevant roles throughout her career were her character Jane Porter in The Legend of Tarzan and the iconic Harley Quinn in the DC superhero films, The Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey. Her acting performance has been so praised that Margot has been nominated in two Oscars, three Golden Globes and five BAFTA. And as a result of her brilliant work, the Australian has been ranked as one of the highest paid actresses in the world. So it's no wonder she can enjoy a rather luxurious life today. When it comes to high-end homes, Margot Robbie owns some pretty good ones in the United States. She once owned, for example, a sophisticated bungalow located in the Hollywood Hills in the city of Los Angeles. The residence has only 945 square feet of interior space, but is showered with luxury in every aspect, thanks to its elegant architectural style. There is a cozy living room, which has beautiful shelves built into the walls, while the gourmet kitchen has modern appliances and quartz countertops, integrating a refined dining room for four. The house also has an office, a luxury bathroom and two bedrooms with elegant French doors. Outside, there is a staircase leading to an outdoor dining area, not to mention a terrace with stunning views of the region. Margot Robbie bought the bungalow in 2018 for the princely sum of $950,000 until she decided to list the property for $1,200,000 in 2020. Another estate the actress once owned was a luxurious 3,300-square-foot home in Hancock Park in one of the best areas to live in Los Angeles. The actress' incredible residence was built in 2016 and has a very well-thought-out interior design containing beautiful European oak wood flooring, high ceilings, and various amenities for the residents to enjoy. In addition, Margot Robbie redecorated the spaces when she acquired the property, making each room even more sophisticated. The residence has living rooms with modern fireplaces, the main one has a sofa in blue tones, as well as glass doors and an open concept design, which brings a greater sense of amplitude to the place. The house's kitchen is in the next room and features stainless steel appliances, marble countertops and custom seating aligned to a large island for dining. The place also has an office, a wine cellar stocked with drinks and a family room with TV as well as a well-equipped residential laundry room and a formal dining setting with a distinctive decor. The house also has six marble-clad bathrooms, which have different sizes and styles, and one of the bathrooms has double sinks and a relaxing tub. There are also five well-lit bedrooms, thanks to the glass doors and windows that bring natural light into the interior, plus the master suite integrates a cozy balcony and has a beautiful walk-in closet. Outside, on the other hand, the property is located on a 6,500-square-foot lot, having a luxury swimming pool in the back, where it also features a trampoline for leisure days and a spa area. The site also has a barbecue area and a modern cabin with a clean design, which has a very cozy living area thanks to the refined decor. According to media reports, Margot Robbie bought the house in 2017 for $2,725,000 until in 2021 she decided to part with it, listing the property for $3,475,000. The actress' current home in the United States, meanwhile, is on Sunset Avenue in Los Angeles' coastal Venice neighborhood, with the property consisting of three separate units on a 4,802-square-foot lot. The homes are known to have been renovated in recent years, but because the sale of the property occurred off-market, there are few records of each separate unit. But, the place still has cozy living rooms, a kitchen with white cabinets and breakfast table, an office with large windows, clean-style bathrooms, with separate glass cabinets, and several luxurious suites, the main one having doors that open to the outside, where there is a beautiful pool to enjoy sunny days. According to some sources, Margot Robbie bought the property in 2019 for $5 million. 
In addition to these properties, the actress has featured in the Vogue 73 Questions series in one of her supposed homes, and although the place is quite luxurious and is on the same standard as other properties she owns, this is not a residence of hers, as it belongs to designer Sidney Morris and is nicknamed the Foxalo. Margot Robbie is always participating in major advertising campaigns with car manufacturers, as is the case with the Nissan brand. But what other cars does the actress drive in her day-to-day -day life? Robbie has already been spotted by paparazzi using a Ford Explorer, a giant and spacious SUV that offers comfortable rides for the whole family. And to own such a car, you'd have to spend up to $55,000. Another robust vehicle that has been in the garage of the blonde is a $85,000 Cadillac Escalade, a good car for those who like refinement without losing comfort. She and her husband have already posted photos aboard a Mercedes-Benz W113. This historic and charming vehicle can be found for sale these days for up to $90,000, depending on its production date and condition. Surely, Margot is discreet when it comes to her personal life, and there is little information about other vehicles the artist owns. Margot Robbie is a very beautiful Australian woman who draws attention wherever she goes. The blonde does not need many gimmicks to look attractive, but that does not mean that she does not invest in her appearance. It's no wonder that on all the red carpets she attends, her outfits get great compliments from the media. The actress previously shared that with her first big paycheck, she gifted herself a Tiffany's pendant to wear on her bracelet. To complement her looks, she is always wearing good designer handbags, such as a $2,625 bag from Ralph Lauren Soft Ricky, a $3,490 St. Laurent Sac de Jour. In order to attend Chanel's Haute Couture show, the blonde wore a tiny Chanel bag that only holds ear pods, which costs $3,900. On another occasion, she wore a complete Bottega Veneta designer look totaling $7,900. When it comes to watches, Margot wore several luxurious models. But the artist probably doesn't even need to pay for these accessories, as she is an ambassador for the luxury brand Richard Mill. Example of the watches the Australian woman has been seen wearing are a $115,000 titanium Richard Mill 67-01, extra flat, a rare $198,000 Rose Gold RM07-01. A $270,000 Richard Mill RM037 with a case full of cut diamonds. A $300,000 Richard Mill RM07-01 made with a carbon bracelet. A delicate and exclusive Richard Mill RM19-02 Trebillion Fleur, with there being only 30 units in the world, costing around $1,300,000. Margot Robbie definitely knows how to dress well, no matter what the occasion. Margot Robbie doesn't give up comfort and sophistication when it comes to choosing a home. She lived, for example, in a cozy residence located in Southport, Australia. The main rooms of the residence include an open living room, a dining area near a piano and a kitchen with modern appliances. The place also features three bathrooms and four bedrooms with clean designs, which have undergone recent renovations. Outside, there is a garage for two cars, a small house in the vicinity of the lawn, an area with a pool in the back and a wooden table for meals on the porch. According to some sources, the house was purchased for $488,500, but Margot's mother sold the place in recent years for $630,000. The actress real estate in Australia also includes two houses in Gold Coast, which she bought for her mother and sister to live in, it's worth $1,800,000. Moving up the price further, it is speculated that Margot Robbie also owns a seaside holiday home located near Byron Bay, Australia, ideal for Margot to live in tranquility surrounded by beautiful landscapes. The residence has white walls and several glass windows, which bring a sense of lightness in everyday life. The place features living rooms, an open dining area, and a kitchen with sophisticated furnishings. There are also three cozy bedrooms, two luxurious bathrooms and other accommodations. On the outside, the house has a wooden deck with an outdoor dining area, being just a few minutes from the beach. In addition, Marco has access to the Enclave's other amenities, such as an Infinity Edge pool and sports courts. According to rumors, the actress purchased a vacation home in 2018 for $3,900,000. Margot Robbie has been considered by many magazines as one of the sexiest and most attractive women in the world. 
It's no wonder that many Hollywood men have dreamed of living a romance with the actress, however today she is married. Margot allegedly dated Henry Aitken in 2014, a man who is not famous. There were rumors that the actress might be getting involved with her romantic partner from The Legend of Tarzan, Alexander Skarsgård. But friendship prevailed in the end. And of course, the media speculated about a possible affair between her and Leonardo DiCaprio, after all, the actors of The Wolf of Wall Street had plenty of chemistry in their scenes. But nothing was ever confirmed. Until in 2016, Margot married her longtime friend Tom Ackerley, and the couple continues together to this day. Far beyond being the only famous villain Harley Quinn in DC superhero movies, Margot Robbie is a successful businesswoman. She and her filmmaker husband Tom Ackerley are founders of the production company Lucky Chap Entertainment. The Australian has even recorded a video for Architectural Digest magazine taking a tour of the company's headquarters. This beach-inspired office space features a rustic kitchen, full-service borgy bathroom and well-decorated open-air patio. Everything is quite cozy, providing great quality of life for employees. Lucky Chap Entertainment was founded in 2014 and has since produced several films, including Promising Young Woman, as well as the television series Dollface and the Netflix miniseries Made. As if this great source of income were not enough, Margot Robbie has advertisement contracts with big companies. Since 2016, for example, she has been chosen as an ambassador for brands such as Calvin Klein Perfumes, Nissan Cars, and Chanel Fashion. In other words, Margot knows how to make money in different ways. The blonde could even make use of her visibility on social media to make more money from advertising, but she has recently deleted her Instagram account. Being considered one of the most successful celebrities in Hollywood, it is a fact that Margot Robbie has already amassed a huge wealth throughout her career. But things weren't always easy for her. For her first successful film, The Wolf of Wall Street, for example, it is estimated that she was paid $347,000 since her name was not yet known in the film industry. But it's a good salary for a newcomer compared to other big names in Hollywood. Her second relevant work Z for Zachariah, on the other hand, earned her $667,000 in 2015. From then on, her popularity and salary grew exponentially to the million-dollar figures. According to some sources, it is estimated that Margot received about $5 million for her role as the nurse Valerie in Amsterdam, $10 million as the iconic villain Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey, $12,500,000 to act in the Barbie movie that will still be released in 2023. But nothing compares to the money the actress made between 2018 and 2019. Adding up her salary from acting and advertising contracts, Margot was one of the highest paid performers, earning $24 million in one year. Taking into consideration that the blonde also works as a producer for various films and series, it is possible that her earnings are even higher. And while it's unclear what Margot Robbie's net worth is, with such a relevant resume for such a recent career,